nifty, nifty United States from 13 original colonies. 50 nifty stars in the flag that billows so beautifully in the breeze. I'm Nick Amell, and welcome to a special American edition of the Tiny Tennis. God bless America. Okay, yeah, I'll pause now for you to do your daily Pledge of Allegiance. Go ahead. Okay, welcome back. If you're new here, Tennis Podcast covers top 10 lists in movies, pop culture, history, true crime, and more. New episodes drop every Wednesday featuring me and a guest sidekick host covering that list in long form. But the Tiny Tennis is just a little bit tinier because here, while I'm still covering top 10 lists, I'm doing it solo and in short form in less than 10 minutes. And today's Tiny Tennis episode is releasing on July 1st, 2024, which means we're only a few days away from the 4th of July, America's birthday. So what better time than now to do a quick history lesson on these United States and also talk about the states that most of us forget even exist until someone brings it up to us every five or six years. And that's why I broke out the lyrics to the 50 nifty United States at the top, because maybe that will help you out as we go here. But before I get to the top 10 most forgotten states in America, let's set the table for how America even got here in the first place. Really quick history lesson. Today, the United States is the third largest country by land area, also the third largest by population with over 334 million citizens. And the United States has had the largest nominal GDP since about 1890. It's a long time ago, and it accounts for 15% of the global economy in 2023. It's, a, it's kind of a big country. But let's go back even further. Let's go all the way back. Paleo-Indians migrated across the Bering Land Bridge more than 12,000 years ago. British colonization led to the first settlement of the 13 colonies in Virginia in the year 1607. But clashes with the British crown over taxation and political representation sparked the American Revolution with the Second Continental Congress formally declaring independence on July 4, 1776. Following its victory in the Revolutionary War, which ended in 1783, the country continued to expand across North America. And by the year 1890, the United States had established itself as a great power. Obviously, I'm skimming over a whole bunch of history here, but the key there was one of the last things I said, which was, following its victory in the Revolutionary War, the country continued to expand across North America. And that's what we're talking about today. That expansion. That expansion led to, eventually, 50 states. And, well, 50 is a lot. 50 is so many, in fact, that a lot of people have trouble naming all 50 states if put on the spot. Even people that live here. Which brings me to the list itself. Sporkle is the leading trivia and quiz entertainment provider on the web, and they have a quiz on their website called the U.S. States Quiz. It's been attempted by players more than 33 million times, with thousands of people playing it every single day. Now, Sporkle has shared the overall results to see which states are most often remembered and forgotten. You might be surprised by the results. I know I was. Here's how the game works. There is a map of the United States with no text or names at all. You then have to correctly input all 50 states within a few minutes. I'll include a link in the show notes if you want to try it out for yourself. Now, it sounds easy, right? Well, there are several states that people forget frequently. And yes, this is a simple online game. It's not a scientific study of any kind, but I do believe it's still a great window into the average American's knowledge of their own country. I also pulled some notes and stats from Reader's Digest, Ranker, and Wikipedia. So without any further fucking ado, here are the top 10 states that people most often forget when trying to name all 50 states. Number one is the most forgotten. So let's start with number 10. It's Indiana. Nicknamed the Hoosier State, it is the 17th most populous of the 50 U.S. states. What is a Hoosier? Well, I didn't know either, so I looked it up. And according to Wikipedia, while it is debated, uh, it's generally believed to be the term for a backwoodsman, a rough countryman, or a country bumpkin. Hmm. Can't think of a better thing to name my citizens than a Hoosier. Number nine is Iowa. Iowa has been listed as one of the safest states to live, but too bad nobody fucking remembers it exists. After the Louisiana Purchase, people laid the foundation for an agriculture-based economy in the heart of the Corn Belt. And if there's anything better to be known as than the heart of the Corn Belt, I'd like to know what that is. The eighth most forgotten state is Delaware. It is the second smallest and sixth least populous state, but also the sixth most densely populated. 
mostly because it's so small. On December 7th, 1787, Delaware was the first state to ratify the Constitution, earning it the nickname of the first state. It's the first official state in the country. And no offense, Delaware, but this is my personal number one. If I was to name all 50 states without any preparation, I think Delaware might be the one I have the most trouble remembering. It's not personal, but I'm not alone because on a separate list on Ranker.com, I looked, Delaware was voted number one there. So not the most memorable state. But we love our listeners in Delaware, and we also love our listeners in number seven, which is Maryland. It's named after Henrietta Maria, the French-born Queen of England, Scotland, and Ireland during the 17th century, also a listener of the show. And although one of the smallest states in the U.S., it features a variety of climates and topographical features that have earned it the moniker of America in miniature. Kind of neat. You get a lot of different climates right there in Maryland. Number six is Wisconsin, the 20th most populous state. Fun fact here is the Republican Party was founded in Wisconsin in the year 1854. In more recent years, Wisconsin has been a battleground state in presidential elections, notably in 2016 and 2020, and I'm sure that will continue in 2024. And Wisconsin, another fun fact, it is home to the world's biggest booty clap. Yes, Dr. Buster lives here. Number five is Nebraska. Indigenous peoples, including the Omaha, Missouri, Ponca, Pawnee, Oto, and various branches of the Lakota tribes have lived in the region for thousands of years before European discovery and exploration. Discovery and exploration. Well, that's certainly one way to put fucking slaughter of people that lived here before you. Uh, Number four, I think, is the biggest shock on the list, in my opinion. The fourth most forgotten state. Massachusetts. And I was surprised to see this because Massachusetts has such a rich history dating back to the very early days of the United States. And plus, it has one of our largest cities, Boston. And although one of the smallest states by land area, it is the most populous state in New England. Some fun facts about Massachusetts. It's the most educated state and one of the most highly developed and wealthiest states in the country, ranking first in the percentage of population 25 and over with a bachelor's or otherwise advanced degree. They also rank first on the American Human Development Index in America, and as of 2023, they are ranked first in median income. Consequently, Massachusetts typically ranks as the most expensive state for residents to live in. My takeaway there, if you live in Massachusetts, you're fucking rich. All right, we're down to the top three. Number three is the land of 10,000 lakes, Minnesota. Even though it's named the land of 10,000 lakes, it actually has over 14,000 bodies of fresh water, covering at least 10 acres each. Minnesota's standard of living and level of education are among the highest in the country, and it is ranked among the best states in metrics such as employment, median income, safety, and governance. Let's move on to number two. It's Connecticut. Connecticut is the third smallest state by area, after only Rhode Island and Delaware. Connecticut's official nickname is the Constitution State, referring to the fundamental orders adopted by the Connecticut colony in the year 1639, now considered by some to be the first written constitution in Western history. That's pretty cool. And now number one. What do you think is the most forgotten state in America when people try to name all 50? It's not Kansas. It's not Oklahoma. It's not North Dakota or South Dakota, West Virginia. It's, hang on, give you a second, shout out your guesses now, I can hear you. Number one is Missouri. Missouri is the number one most forgotten state. Reader Digest says the reason could be that people forget Missouri because there's eight total U.S. states that start with the letter M, more than any letter in the alphabet. You're bound to forget one of them. Missouri, you may have heard, is called the show me state. But I guess they didn't show their ass enough because no one can fucking remember they even exist. Now, the phrase show me state has several origins. One is popularly ascribed to a speech by Congressman Willard Vandiver in the year 1899, who declared that, quote, I come from a state that raises corn and cotton, cockleburrs and Democrats, and frothy eloquence neither convinces nor satisfy me. I'm from Missouri and you have got to show me, end quote. If anyone knows what a cockleburr is, please send me a DM. I'd I'd love to know because I have some ideas. Now, this quote is keeping in line with the saying, I'm from Missouri, which means I'm skeptical of the matter and not easily convinced. So there you have it. Let's go back through that top 10, the most forgotten states in America. Number 10, Indiana. Number 9, Iowa. 
Number eight, Delaware. Number seven, Maryland. Number six, Wisconsin. Number five, Nebraska. Number four, Massachusetts. Number three, Minnesota. Number two, Connecticut. And number one, the show me state, Missouri. By the way, if you're curious what the states are that are never forgotten and are almost always entered first when people take this quiz, the three most remembered states are, in order, California, Texas, Washington. More than any other state, those three are the ones that come to mind first for millions of Americans. By the way, I'd love for you to take this quiz and let me know how you score. Again, the link's in the show notes. Take the quiz, shoot me a message on social media, at TennisPod. Let me know which states you forgot. If you enjoyed this list, might I recommend episode number 144 from our main weekly series, where we covered the top 10 worst states to live in America. There is some crossover here with today's list. You can find episode number 144 right here in the same podcast feed. While we all have our differences here in America, and we bicker all the time about religion or politics or children being murdered in their own schools, the one thing we can all agree on is that 50 states is a lot, and it's hard to remember them all sometimes. And just like there's 50 states in this country, there's way more than 50 reasons that I love you, dear listener. Of course, I don't have time to go through all 50 reasons right now, so you'll just have to take my word for it. In closing, I hope you have an amazing 4th of July. And instead of blowing up fireworks, maybe this year you can blow the minds of your family and friends as you rattle off all 50 states without even forgetting Missouri. And if you're not American, then I salute you anyway for taking this ride with me. God bless America. God bless the tiny tennis. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you next time. Okay.